good afternoon good morning everybody let us move on to activity number 2 regarding heat chapter we have already done with activity number 1 let us move on to activity number 2 this is an activity on thermal equilibrium the previous video when i told about thermal equilibrium when two bodies are in thermal contact with each other then the heat energy will be flowing from one body to other body this process continues until both bodies at the same temperature in the in thermal equilibrium both bodies have the same quantity of same amount of temperature for the for an example if you consider a furniture and a the furniture initially will be having some issue. it is a cold body and air is a hot body the temperature from it takes place from air to the furniture and it will continue until air and furniture goes gets the same temperature this is one more example of thermal equilibrium and let us move on to the one more activity on thermal equilibrium activity number 2 as it is mentioned in your test books why to take two glass tumblers one glass tumbler with hot water and another glass tumbler with cold water try to take two thermometers insert a thermometer in hot water and insert another thermometer in cold water when you are inserting thermometer make sure that the bulb of the thermometer will be touching the water and then after some time you observe that thermometer and hot water gets the same temperature how is it possible you know hot water is a hot body hot body thermometer is a cold body the heat energy takes place from a thermometer from a hot water to the thermometer because hot body hot water is losing heat thermometer is gaining heat the process will continues until hot water and thermometer gets the same temperature this is one more example of thermal equilibrium and the another example is take a cold water try to place a thermometer when you place a thermometer in a cold water thermometer is a hot body cold water is a cool cool body the heat energy will take place from thermometer to the cold water thermometer loses heat cold water gains heat this process continues until both bodies attain the same temperature and let us move on if a and b are thermal equilibrium sir if a is thermal equilibrium with b a is thermal equilibrium with c and b is thermal equilibrium with c then we can say that a and b are thermal equilibrium with c a is thermal equilibrium with c and b is thermal equilibrium with c it is very easy if a and b are thermal equilibrium with each other ab is in thermal equilibrium with c then we can say that a is thermal equilibrium with c and b is thermal equilibrium with c now units of heat heat is always si unit of heat is joule and cs unit of heat heat is calorie and one calorie is equal to 4.186 joules and you people may ask me that sir always mk si unit should be bigger than cs unit but in the case of heat it is reversed because calorie numerical value is greater than joule that is the reason why one calorie is equal to 4.186 joules and joule is the si unit of heat calorie is the cs unit of heat thank you